um, Napama practices, which is growing dry crop corn. And now our neighbors upstream might be growing sweet corn, hundreds of acres of sweet corn. And your little plot gets pollinated from these different corns. And so it doesn't, it, it doesn't grow as well as regular Napama corn would grow. Uh, and I've had that happen to me a few times where I planted all white corn, my neighbor planted blue corn, my whole crop turned blue and white. So again, I have to restart that small seed again. And by doing that, I usually go into other tribes looking for Nampama planters. And they're hardly ever out there anymore. Nowadays, it's all agriculture or irrigation or sprinklers or stuff like that. So it's kind of hard now. I think a lot of the Akamas have moved out of that practice of, like I said, as a farmer, you can tell the small seeds are Nampama dry crop seeds. The irrigated uh, corn are, are high in heel, bigger, longer. Uh, more, they use more water though. You know, that's what, what one bad thing about um, uh, irrigation is that the, uh, th those plants use a lot more water than dry farming. So uh, yeah, we try and protect that and we try and plant in different areas where they won't get affected. Um, but yes, there's not too many people that practice it, but yeah, we're trying to still protect it.